In this video, we're going to look at MIDI note control of a QuickQ system. MIDI note control is supported on QuickQ consoles, the QuickQ 20 and 30, and our QuickQ rack. For MIDI input, it's supported directly via the MIDI ports on the console and the rack only. In the setup I've got here, I've got a Mac, which I'm running QLab on, with a simple USB to MIDI adapter connected directly to my QuickQ system here. The MIDI note control is fully enabled in the software of QuickQ with no further configuration required. MIDI supports toggling on and off of playbacks and setting the level of a playback, bumping go on a playback and going back on a playback. The way this works is middle C, MIDI note 60, sending that as a note on command would activate playback one and sending that as a note off command would release it. Going up a MIDI note, MIDI note 61 would control playback number two on and off. Going up again, MIDI note 62, playback three and so on. If we move up an octave, starting at MIDI note 72, this being as sent as a note on would bump go on a playback. Moving up an octave again, the MIDI note 84 would go back on a playback. Again, 84, playback 1, 85, playback 2, and so on through our MIDI notes. In my QLab file here, as you can see, I've already entered some MIDI commands. So if we look at our playback 1 activate, you can see I've set that to MIDI note 60 with a velocity. The velocity of sending your MIDI note on controls the playback level. If I go down again, I've set playback 2 activate, you can see it's set to MIDI note number 61. Release, I've set as a note off this time as note 60. And I've got playback 3, which I activate here, sending MIDI note 62, and later on I bump go on that playback. This is ideal for integrating with systems exactly like QLab or ProPresenter, where you want to externally bump through or trigger your playbacks as part of a wider control system, maybe with video and other parts of your show system. Importantly, when you're sending your MIDI note on to bump go, you do need to send the off command. So you can see up here, I've got a clear note, which is sending MIDI note off and the same MIDI note number, so MIDI note 74 for playback number three to release the command so I can go on playback three again in a later step. And then later on here, I'll release the playback. If we look at our QuickQ software here, you can see I've got a show file where I've pre-recorded on my playbacks here, some different cue stacks. I've got chases on playback one and two, and a more theatrical style cue stack on playback number three. And you'll also be able to see my lights activating in the visualizer. Let's go back to QLab and start sending some of these commands. So I'm gonna hit show here. I'm gonna click at the top to start my show from the top, and I'm gonna hit go. You can see now this is activated playback one in my QuickQ software, and you can see in the legend for playback one, it running through the steps of my chase, and you'll see that in the visualizer as well. If I hit go again in QLab, you can see it's now activated my second chase, which brings on the Sykes in the back of my visualizer at the back of the stage there. If I hit go again, that's now released playback one. You can see it's no longer running through the steps in the playback legends of my QuickQ software. And if I hit go again, you can see I've now activated my theatrical style Q stack and you saw Q1 fade in just now. I'm gonna hit go again in QLab and that's now released my playback number two chase that was running, but I've still got my Q stack three running. I'm now gonna send my go command. It's playback number three, starting at MIDI note 72 for playback one. So going up two notes, this is gonna be sending MIDI note 74 on to activate the go command for playback number three. As you can see there, it's now moved forward a Q. It's gone to Q number two. I'm going to clear the note, which does nothing. It just sends the note off command. Then I'm going to send that MIDI note on again, MIDI note 74 on again, and you can see it's bumped forward my Q stack. I'm now going to send the off command to go back. So this is called our go back, which is going to be starting at MIDI note 84. But again, I'm playback number three, so it's going to be MIDI note number 86. I'm going to hit again, and you can see it's now gone back from Q3 to Q2 in my show. And finally, to release it, I'm gonna send MIDI note 62 again, but this time instead of a note on, I'm gonna send it as a note off. And you can see there, it's now released that playback and it's no longer running on my QuickQ software and no longer outputting in my visualizer. So that's MIDI note control of your QuickQ software.